day this is for you. I know also that this annual March of Life keeps the national attention focused on the need for us to protect the right to life. Last year, we all supported Senator Hatch's proposed constitutional amendment. Just as the year before, we had supported Senator Helms' amendment. So far, we haven't had success in a general solution to this tragic problem. But we mustn't give up. We have to keep pressing on. And for example, uh, I hope you'll be supporting I am the Jepson, the Hyde Jepson bill to cut off the federal funding of abortion. I know that you've heard from Dr. Goof and he and Secretary Margaret Heckler have done an outstanding job in drafting the final baby doe regulations. Many people don't realize that or haven't heard that the American Academy of Pediatricians and the National Association of Children's Hospitals have changed their official positions and they now explicitly recognize the value of the lives of all children and they repudiate the idea that physical or mental handicaps justify uh, making value of life decisions to end the life of the newborn child. Even though we're having difficulty with some members of the Congress, this <coughs> issue must not be discouraged. One sure way to overturn the Roe versus Wade decision could be by way of changes in the Supreme Court. <laughs> <laughs> Justice O'Connor's dissent in the Akron cases. We can use a, a few more Sandra O'Connors. And finally, I think there are a variety of ways of making progress. Maybe we have overlooked some of them. Uh, they include, of course, legislative, administrative, judicial, and yes, electoral. But there is the private sector sector. Voluntary action by concerned Americans I think can save or help save individual lives and help individual mothers. And I wonder if we, uh, focusing on the one thing, if we have forgotten <coughs> that. And there have been so many things since we started our private sector initiatives that have demonstrated the power of the private sector uh, once it gets around. <coughs> And I guess maybe some of the things that I'm thinking about is the fact that so many of the thing we're trying to, cases of the kind that we're trying to prevent come from that young girl who has followed conduct or made a mistake and now turns to this way of getting out of her situation. And yet how many people there are in America today on waiting lists waiting, hopefully, to adopt a child. And I can't help but recall that once when I was governor, Nancy was out to speak to a group, and she didn't like to speak. She liked to do question and answer better. She was doing a question and answer, and it was on this general subject. And uh, someone asked her a question about the whole situation, the problem. And I thought that Nancy's answer was pretty eloquent. She said, well, do we ever stop to think that part of the problem could be solved if we would just teach them to? <laughs> no. But uh, came back to me not too long ago, hearing a sermon in church, and the clergyman was talking also on um, subjects related to this. And he asked a question. Our terminology, particularly among a great many liberal people, and sort of softening <coughs> terms that we use anymore. And he said, when did being promiscuous become sexually active? <laughs> uh, were all the rules that we were raised by uh, wrong? Should they be thrown aside simply because they're, they're old? Uh, we seem to have 
sort of unofficially put a stamp of approval on a lot of things that we always considered were uh, violations of traditional values. <coughs> And maybe if we get enough people aroused, we can have some allies out there who probably never thought of supporting this particular cause that we're united in. But at the same time, uh, are opposed to some of the things that are going on today. And that we can once again get back to a kind of consensus on standards. Well, my golly. Mike David, you know? Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. Going so long, we need an interpreter? I'm off again. I know. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> Yeah. That was great. But he has been here, there, and elsewhere. You name it, he's been there. And we thought that it might be interesting to hear a little bit of his impressions around the world. Sure would like to. He has quite a base of comparison having been at this for many years. These are our these are brothers. Oh. Uh, <laughs> briefly, I went uh, through the ASEAN. Well, first, I went to the Maldive Islands, uh, Mr. President, to be your representative at the inauguration of the President there. He was extraordinarily warm, and he assured me that under no circumstances would he lease or rent the former British. Sparkling spot, Jimmy, before. 
That's got to be it. You that's just, they they will be it right here. You should get up and walk around and talk to the president. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah, better yet. Better yet. Let's yeah, have come over and talk to you. Oh, maybe it's because you have my tie. That's going to be it. You may be counting my tie. So there is one. Back in here. expect to hear something tonight? It's a secret. That's a consummate old pro, Helen Thomas, huh? Until yeah. when? You didn't have to mention it. Good good. Oh, exactly. I didn't help at all. John, I didn't help at all. I really blew it. It's the first game I was telling the Redskins they lost. I lost the last first class. That's all. I don't say anything about it. I can see between us is uh, lifestyles. Mm. So, uh, there. Now I set you up. Now you're right. That's your point. Make my power point from now on. The president tells you that you've got to do it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I made my life misery. <laughs> well, Mr. President, thank you very much for seeing us. So well, this is a great pleasure. Oh, no, it's really honored to be back here anyway. I know how busy you are. And of course, I know it's all you said. <laughs> I always broke to say congratulations to you because you're always uh, having an additional triumphs. Thank you. Well, I'm pleased to have you here. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Well, sir. Thank you again. Well, great pleasure. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Forgive me for making your life miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've made it miserable for him. <laughs> All right. But if he's a reformed Thank character, you. we will let you know. All right. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. This is the Thank you. 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 Thank you.
What are we doing with this? Let's get this done. Turn around that way. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.